I'm Dr. Manveer Bhatia, a senior neurologist and a sleep specialist from the Neurology and Sleep Center, New Delhi, and the author of the book, The Sleep Solution. I'm often asked these three questions. So I'm going to combine their answers together and share with everyone. And I do hope that this will help you. So the first question is that can or does OSA improve over time? Second, how to prevent obstructive sleep apnea? And third is can thin people get obstructive sleep apnea? So the first one, that does OSA or obstructive sleep apnea improve over time? So just a little um, thought process about what really causes obstructive sleep apnea. So yes, we have the structure of the face, the jaw, the nose, etc., which is possibly genetically determined. Then we have weight gain and obesity, which can worsen sleep apnea. And we have our own arousal threshold and the respiratory control. So can OSA improve by itself? If one takes care of the weight, that is, it's been seen that a 10 to 15% weight loss will definitely improve sleep apnea by about 30 to 50%. Change in habits, smoking, alcohol, will also help or improve the obstructive sleep apnea. So this question that does OSA go away, it's unlikely it goes away, but you can modify it by the behavioral interventions and you can decrease the severity by the behavioral interventions. The second question is that, can I prevent obstructive sleep apnea? It's kind of linked to the first few answers that if you manage to control your weight, make sure that you avoid certain things like excessive alcohol intake and smoking, uh, regular exercise, maybe even regular breathing exercises to strengthen the tongue muscles, the throat muscles, the airway, will work together to decrease the chances or probability of developing a OSA. And even if you do, it might be mild, it may not be moderate to severe. The third question, can thin people get obstructive sleep apnea? Yes, um, so obstructive sleep apnea typically, and in our mind, we think that it's always the obese people who get it, but almost 10 to 15% of patients of who have obstructive sleep apnea can be thin. And they have a different, maybe pathophysiological mechanism, meaning the different cause. One is of course the structure of the, the jaw. So if there's a very small chin, small mouth, it's a narrow airway and which collapses much more easily. So that's an easy collapsibility with the structural changes. Second, it could be a change in the arousal threshold. So these people have a very low threshold. That means just kind of, it breaks the sleep, it changes their respiratory patterns. And, but these people are also seen to be at risk to develop high blood pressure and all the other cardiac consequences for untreated sleep apnea. So I do hope uh, that these three very often asked questions have been answered and uh, share them with the people who you think might need an answer. And if you still need further clarification, do uh, contact us, get in touch with us and we shall answer some more questions. Thanking you and looking forward to being in touch with you. Thank you.